This is Terry Wager. Uh, the date today is uh, August 20th, 2015. Uh, this is uh, vlog that I'm uh, recording on my uh, desktop. I'm going to be uh, explaining uh, an incident that occurred last year. Uh, a woman, a 25 year old woman, was slain, was murdered by a police officer uh, last year in uh, 2014. And uh, this, this is this photo. Of this, this is a screenshot I took of the news story that was on Coin Six News. Um, I took a scrolling screenshot of this uh, news article that was on Coin Six News. Uh, the screenshot program that I took uh, didn't do a very good job, so you can see there's a lot of breaks in the screen, the scrolling screenshot. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, Chunks of the news story got uh, cut out of it because uh, the program that I used to take the scrolling screenshot um, didn't work very well. Uh, but it, it has a great, a substantial amount of this news story. Um, I need to point out the fact that uh, the reason I'm pointing this news story out is because this woman was shot by a police officer. Uh, she was hunted down and killed by a police officer and they were using police dogs in the pursuit of this woman. Uh, the, the police pulled this woman over under the pretense of a traffic stop. And the police department was pretending that this woman doesn't have a driver's license. Now, according to the news story, and according to the police, uh, this woman was pulled over uh, by a police officer that had a police dog with him. Now, is that, do police officers that have police dogs, do they normally do traffic stops? No, they do not. Cops that do traffic stops normally do not have police dogs with them. <clears throat> so they're right off the bat their bogus story of them doing a traffic stop is bullshit uh, that's just their cover story for targeting this woman uh, but they claim they claim that they're doing a traffic stop which is outright bullshit uh, this woman was being stalked and targeted by a policing operation she is a target and a witness of a police and a victim of a police sting operation and she was being stalked by the police sting operation and uh, she was literally quite literally fleeing these people trying to get away from these people trying to find help and uh, they basically pulled her over and they uh, for the most part assassinated her uh, because it's not a normal traffic stop this woman tried to flee these officers uh, because her life was in danger she perceived her life as being in danger from these people and she tried to flee from these officers and uh, she uh, was literally chased uh, by those police officers and by the police dog and she got into a park and that's where the police dog caught up to her and the police dog attacked her arm and basically had a death grip on her arm and was tearing up her arm and she fell to the ground because of it and as she was trying to get up off the ground uh, that's when the police officer that sicked the dog on her open fired on her uh, and hitting her in the head and it killed her Now, the news media uh, in Portland, Oregon here, and pretty much the, all the news media throughout all of Oregon here, uh, was majorly slandering this poor woman and vilifying this poor woman, trying desperately to make her look like a bad guy in order to cover the cops' asses. Um, 
and it was very blatant and it was very obvious and let me minimize this uh, screenshot and allow me to bring up another screenshot and this is also from coin six news this is the woman again uh, that was killed I, di I didn't take a scrolling screenshot I just took a screenshot so you can see the beginning news story of it but you can't scroll down and read the rest of the news story and the reason why is because my program that I was using to take scrolling screenshots was obviously not working very well so I mainly just I mainly took this screenshot just to have the photo uh, of this poor woman uh, that was killed unjustly by the police and uh, <clears throat> there were quite a few uh, new separate news stories in regards uh, to, in regards to this incident uh, the news media was heavily trying to portray this woman as a, a criminal a known criminal and uh, a dangerous person uh, where he the news media was heavily vilifying this poor woman and this woman didn't do anything wrong nothing wrong absolutely nothing wrong uh, the fascist government and the fascist propagandistic news media that backs up and covers for this fascist government is trying to cover their asses by fabricating uh, complaints and fabricating accounts and fabricating uh, events in order to make this poor woman look like a bad guy when she's obviously not and uh, I'm going to basically prove that to you uh, here's a new story in relation to the same news story uh, once again made by coin six news now, now they're referring to the same woman but guess what that's not her this person is not, she is not the person that the cops murdered. But Coin6 News and the police and your local news media here in Oregon were desperately trying to portray uh, the murdered female victim that was murdered by the police in, in an assassination style. Uh, they're trying to portray her as a bad guy. So what do they do? They have a double, they have a look-alike, uh, dress up like uh, Trinity on the Matrix, and then she poses as uh, a person that has at, that's at gunpoint. And they have this woman who is not the murdered female, posing and impersonating the woman that was murdered. And look at this woman, she's grinning, she's smirking while she's acting as a double. Look at that. She's smirking. She's grinning. Uh, police and news media regularly use doubles to impersonate the people they target so that they can portray the target and to make the target look like a bad guy. Um, they were blatantly and openly doing this on the local news websites. Um, here in Oregon uh, last year in 2014 now there were people uh, such as myself that were leaving uh, comments uh, on a news story uh, I'm going to read you one of the comments that um, I was trying to leave on that website and I'll read the comment to you that I typed out and I hope you notice right here it says post as Terry wager post as Terry wager and that would be the button to hit the post now as you can see I'm logged in with coin six news I'm actually logged in to their website and I'm using my real name I'm not hiding who I am at all I'm using my real name and here's what I typed. Everything the police say about her is false and made up, and everyone backing up the cops' bullcrap story is a liar for cops. 
Too many fascists jump onto the cover the cops butt mentality and make up tons of lies about the victim to appear justified when they're not. Police and Coin News website released a false photo of a woman impersonating the murdered victim and this double was raising her hands high in surrender while smirking just so police and news media can portray the woman as a bad guy. This is why murderous cops never go to prison. Cops lie about events. No one holds them to account for lying about events. And there are anonymous groupies on these slander rags called news websites. Slander the crap out of the victim until everyone feels intimidated enough to shut up about the blatant murder. For Christ's sake, police and coin news website portrayed a double impersonating this murdered victim. And a double was taking, was faking being a criminal just so they can make the murdered victim look like a bad guy. I would post links to it, but Coin deletes all my posts with links. Now, I tried to post this comment on the Coin6 news website, and I hit the post as Terry Wager button because I'm already logged in with Coin6 news. You can see right there. You can see my name right there. I'm logged in to Coin6 News. And look at the message I get after I hit the post Terry Wager button. Look at the message I get. We are unable to post your comment because you have been blocked by Coin.com. Now, this is a demonstration, and it actually shows and demonstrates how uh, news media... Uh, how news media will vilify innocent people that police have it out for and will back up any pretense uh, for the purpose of vilifying uh, targets of police and to make police look and appear justified when they're fucking not. Now, I'm going to, this is, uh, I because I couldn't take a scrolling screenshot, I had to simply... Uh, like take a, a screenshot of the photo of the story and then scroll down manually and then take like another screenshot where I'm just getting the news story. Uh, now here's the basic, the basic news story. This is the bullshit news story that they're spinning off about the murder of this woman. Uh, Salem, Oregon, Coin 6, people who witness police, witnesses question police shooting of 25-year-old. People who witnessed police shoot and kill a 25-year-old woman in Salem last Friday said they questioned whether the shooting was necessary. Michael Shelley, who lives across, or Michelle, Michael Shelley, who lives across the street from Eastgate Basin Park, where Jacqueline Ford was shot by police, said he saw enough of the altercation to at least raise some troubling questions. Shelley said he watched Ford run from a traffic stop into the nearby park and witnessed a police dog chase her down and start attacking her. The dog was up on its hind legs and it had something in its grasp. I don't think it was the officer because she, Ford, and they're paraphrasing Ford, the woman that was killed, was yelling, ouch, stop, that hurts, let go, said Shelley. After being attacked by the police dog, Shelley said he saw Ford get back on her feet with what appeared to be an injured right arm right before she was shot and killed by Salem police officer Trevor uh, Morrison. Now, <clears throat> that's the initial bullshit story. Now, the fact that they're trying to portray it as a traffic stop. It's blatantly outright a lie. Uh, police officers that are assigned to do traffic stops do not have attack police dogs with them. That is not normal at all. Not one bit. Therefore, the fact that they're faking a traffic stop is out is outright bullshit. 
uh, the fact that the officers that claim to pull her over on a bullshit traffic stop is just outright it's just outright lying on her part because the fact that they had a trained police dog they sicked on her um, is enough to know it was not a traffic stop. Now this woman was a victim of a sting. The news media completely ignores that. Uh, this woman was trying was trying to flee dangerous people in law enforcement that wanted her dead. She was trying to find help, and in her attempt to find help, the police basically pulled her over, and they basically faked the traffic stop. And here in Oregon, law enforcement regularly to fake traffic stops in order to murder off people or to uh, or to frame people for more higher trumped up cri uh, crimes. Uh, I'm a first hand witness to the fact that law enforcement will fake a traffic stop uh, for the purpose of making their target look like a bad guy um, with full intent of just murdering their target. Um, this woman was uh, pulled over by police officers that had trained attack dogs in their police vehicle and they sick the dogs on this woman. Does that sound like a traffic stop to you? No, it was not. Now the fact that they have this so-called witness giving this account of what took place is a fabricated twisted bullshit account of what took place uh, the person that they're using as the witness is actually a civilian sting off and news media simply does not point that out to people so basically law enforcement murdered this woman she's a target of a sting uh, law enforcement murdered this woman to silence her and it's civilian thing ops that are backing up the bullshit story in order to make law enforcement appear justified when in fact they're not justified at all now you have to understand this woman is not a criminal she doesn't have a history of being a criminal at all any uh, any bullshit story that anybody makes up trying to claim that this woman has a history of being a criminal is just an outright lie by news media and by law enforcement. Now, there were a lot of people trying to point out the fact that uh, law enforcement and news media was lying and vilifying this woman in order to cover a cop's ass. Um, I happen to be uh, one of the people that was pointing this out to people on uh, the co on Coin6 News website. Uh, I'm not the only person uh, that was protesting and calling foul and calling bullshit on the police and on the news media. Uh, how the news media handled it was simply to uh, and here's how the news media silenced uh, silence all the complaints. Um, they basically just blocked everybody uh, that was crying foul and calling out bullshit on the news media and on the police. Um, the only people that were permitted to give uh, their opinion of the news story were police and civilian sting ops. That's it. Anybody else that tries to leave a comment on these news stories on the Coin6 News website uh, they get blocked. You're not welcome to point out the fact that Coin6 News and the police are using doubles to impersonate this woman to make her look like a bad guy. Uh, nobody's willing, nobody, they're not, they won't allow anybody to point that out to anybody. Uh, uh, they're silencing everybody that was protesting and complaining about the bullshit and about the lies and the slander that they were using to vilify this poor woman. I'm obviously one of the people uh, that they're trying to silence um, because Coin6 News, even though I'm, you can see right there, I'm logged in with Coin6 News. I'm logged in. There's my name right there. I'm on the Coin6 News website. 
I'm logged in. You can see my name right there. And you can even see where on the button where you can see where I type my comment. And you can see the button that you hit where it says post as Terry Wager. I hit that button after typing out this comment, and this my post never got through, and all I got was this message telling me the Coin6 News blocked me. So anybody and everybody that was crying foul and uh, calling uh, the news media, the lying news media, and the lying police out on their bullshit uh, uh, were effectively censored and silenced. So the only people that were permitted to leave and post comments are the police themselves and the uh, their civilian operatives that are pro-police and are that are backing up the bullshit lies that law enforcement is telling. And they're the only people that are permitted to leave a comment. Now... They murdered this woman. This woman was a target of a sting. She was not pulled over by a traffic stop. She is a target and victim of a sting. And the police that had the tap dogs with her pulled her over with full intent of killing her. Uh, they made that known to her. And because they made it known to her, she tried to flee these people. Now, the officers... Uh, actually caused her to flee. They made it known to her she ain't got no choice but to flee. They made it known to her they're going to kill her. They wanted her to flee, which is why they had the attack dogs with them in the first place. If they didn't want this woman to flee on foot, then they wouldn't have had the attack dogs with them. So they pulled over the woman with full intent of making it known to that woman that they're going to kill her. They wanted her to flee. And when she chose to flee, that's when those police officers that had the police dogs with them in the back of their car, that's when the police released the police dog to chase after her. And then after the police dog attacked the woman, the cops just assassinated her. They killed her with a headshot. Now, this woman doesn't have a history of criminal activity. Uh, there is, uh, this woman is not a criminal. She never has been a criminal, ever. She's not a bad person. She was just ganged up on by organized people in law enforcement by people that want, obviously wanted her dead. And those organized people assassinated her. And the news media is trying to cover up this blatant assassination by trying to portray it, by trying to portray law enforcement as justified, and they're trying to portray this victim as a bad guy. Now, the blatant use the blatant use of doubles being used by the police and by the news media to portray the murdered woman as a, a bad guy as a villain is blatant this is the police and the news media actually treat Framing their targets like it's a fucking sport, like it's a game. Oh, they just, uh, law enforcement has one of their whore ass girlfriends dress up like Trinity um, in the Matrix, and then they just, she just puts her fucking hands up behind her, her head, and she's basically just imp trying to impersonate the woman that is murdered, and she's wearing sunglasses because she's not the woman, she's, she's a fucking look alike, she's just a double. She's just doubling as that woman, and she's just trying to portray that woman as a criminal. Now, notice how this woman is grinning and smirking. I guarantee you the people taking the photogenic photos of this woman, they're grinning and smirking too. I guarantee it. It's sport for law enforcement and for their civilian ops to use doubles to stage crimes in order to make their targets look like bad guys. 
Now, Coin6 News and the Salem Police are blatantly using doubles, blatantly using doubles to portray that innocent woman that was murdered by the police as a bad guy. This is not that woman. This is just some whore-ass girlfriend of a cop that dressed up like Trinity and put her hands behind her head and is acting like a criminal and grinning and smirking while her boyfriend cop is snapping a photogenic photo of it. And then news, Coin6 News is using this fabricated photo by police and by a double to portray this innocent woman that was murdered as a bad guy. Now, I'm going to show you the... Uh, the scrolling screenshot that I took and I'm going to have to apologize at the fact that uh, my screenshot program that I used to take the scrolling screenshot uh, was not able to get the entire uh, web page in its entirety uh, unfortunately I want to point out a section of this news story uh, and I'm going to read it to you and it's basically this section right here uh, there's just a lot of misinformation, and we wanted to correct what we could, said Deputy District Attorney uh, Pelage Clarkson. People posting things on various websites, including Coin6, Carlson would not specify with Coin6 News staff which misinformation was live on Coin.com. So, uh, in this one section of the news story, uh, Coin6 News and uh, the police themselves is admitting and agreeing and acknowledging uh, that, yes, indeed, there is a great deal of misinformation in regards to the killing of, uh, Jack, of Jacqueline Ford. That's her name, Jacqueline Ford. Um, let me verify real quick if that's it. yeah Jacqueline Ford there's her name right there Jacqueline Ford's death uh, the DA's office issued a statement on a shooting that led to Jacqueline Ford's death to cl cl clarify what they call recent inaccurate information uh, oh that's so they want to classify all this propaganda and bullshit as recent inaccurate information huh uh, I, I, I would refer to it as deliberate and intentional vilifying and outright lying to cover a cop's ass um, for Christ's sake law enforcement and coin six news is using doubles to impersonate this woman that was murdered this is not Jacqueline Ford at all. This is not the murdered woman at all. But Coin6 News and the police are trying to portray the woman uh, as a bad guy. And they're, trying to, they're using doubles and photogenic photos to do it with. Now, when people, uh, when people try to point this out on the Coin6 News websites... Me being one of the people that was pointing this out, people such as myself and others uh, that were trying to point this out, um, were we were being blocked. So anybody that called bullshit out on Coin6 News and on the police, uh, the people that were calling, boy, calling bullshit on them uh, were being blocked by Coin6 News to post a comment. So o the only people that were permitted and allowed to post comments are people that are pro-police and are the people that are backing up uh, the bullshit story that the police and Coin6 News was spilling out to people. Uh, only supporters of the bullshit that they were spewing were allowed to comment. Uh, anybody and everybody that was calling 
crying foul and calling bullshit on them. Uh, they're the people that are being blocked. So here you have a ex news story of an innocent woman that was blatantly assassinated by the police who intentionally intentionally wanted to kill her and they planned it out they would it was not they the fact that they try to portray it as a traffic stop is bullshit because tra cops that do traffic stops do not have police dogs with them what a coincidence police pulled this woman over they're targeting this woman in a sting operation they target this woman for several months if not a couple of years this woman already knew she's a victim of organized people in law enforcement. She already knew this. She's trying to find help. Law enforcement decides to pull her over and assassinate her. They fully planned it out and the police intended that, which is why they had the dog with them. The police deliberately and intentionally caused her to flee and run in fear for her life. And that's exactly what the police wanted, which is why they had the dog, the police dog, within the police vehicles when the police pulled this woman over. The police assassinated this woman and killed her. Blatant assassination. And then the news media and the fascist police department starts pumping out a shit ton of propaganda to vilify and portray the murdered woman as a bad guy, as a villain. They're trying to cover the cops' asses. Uh, this is a blatant use by police and news media of using doubles and photogenic photos to portray the victims as bad guys. And a great deal of people, I'm not the only person that was crying foul and calling out bullshit on uh, Coin6 News and on other news websites and calling out bullshit on the police department that assassinated the woman. I'm not the only person that was calling out bullshit. Uh, but the news media, in order to silence me and in order to silence everybody else that was calling out bullshit, uh, they just immediately blocked and censored anybody and everybody that was pointing this out. Now, uh, I was initially right off the bat pointing out the fact that they were using doubles and photogenic photos to portray an innocent murdered victim as a bad guy. I was immediately pointing that out and uh, people did get to read my comments before uh, Coin6 News blocked me and they had all my comments uh, deleted. So my comments were not immediately de were not immediately deleted. Well, they were immediately deleted in the sense that within a, an hour or two, my comments were deleted. But my comments were up and posted long enough for some people to view it uh, before my comments were deleted, and I ended up being subsequently blocked by Coin6 News. Now, I'm not the only person that was crying foul. I'm not the only person that was calling Coin6 News, as well as the police, uh, calling them out on their bullshit. Um, and Coin6 News immediately st uh, started censoring these comments uh, made by me and by others in order to silence... Uh, to silence the people that were objecting. Um, and the only people that are permitted that have post comments and to have comments that stay posted on Coin6 News are people that are going along with the bullshit and not calling out the news media and the police on the bullshit. Uh, they're the only people that are permitted to post comments and to leave comments and to have those comments remain on the website. Um, all my comments were deleted and uh, I was perma permanently blocked um, from posting on Coin6 News uh, because I'm blatantly calling them out on their bullshit. Uh, the, fact that, uh, the fact that they're using doubles is just... Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's as though everybody in law enforcement and everybody in news media is just a bunch of grinning, smirking liars and murderers that will stage 
a five minute pretense in order to cover a cop's ass. Uh, how long do you think it took this this cop's girlfriend to dress up uh, to to do her hair like the the murdered victim's hair, and then to dress up like Trinity on the Matrix, and then act like a criminal for a cop's uh, cell phone for photogenic photo purposes. Uh, how, how long do you think they spent on that? I hope you notice the bitch is grinning, and I, I guarantee you the dude that's snapping the photogenic photos of this woman, um, he's grinning too. He's smirking. It's sport to law enforcement and to their whore-ass girlfriends to vilify and frame anybody that they have it out for. Now, for all intents and purposes, this is staging done by law enforcement and by their civilian ops. They just have somebody that's a, a look-alike. Not an exact twin, just somebody that resembles the target enough to where if they slap on some glasses and they take a fuzzy photogenic photo, well, then the person can easily pass as a double. Hollywood uses doubles all the time, and uh, moviegoers never notice. If it weren't for the fact that Hollywood admits they use doubles, um, if it weren't for that, you know, m majority of people wouldn't even know. Well, this is a classic example of law enforcement and their uh, whore-ass civilian relatives and girlfriends uh, blatantly staging crimes uh and acting as a double for the purpose of framing and vilifying their target. And this is a perfect and classic example of law enforcement and news media using doubles and photogenic photos uh, to vilify and to uh, uh, frame their targets and to make their targets look like bad guys. Um, now, I'm going to go back to the this... Uh, butchered screenshot that I took. Unfortunately, uh, my screenshot program that I used to take the scrolling screenshot did not take a very good screenshot. <laughs> it, has enough, more, it has more than enough of it. But I would like to point out this section of this news story where uh, law enforcement <clears throat> is actually admitting that there is a great deal of misinformation <clears throat> Um, in regards to this news story and uh, you need to understand that uh, the only reason they're posting this is like one of the last news stories in regards to that woman being killed and uh, they're they're actually admitting and acknowledging there's a substantial amount of misinformation and the reason why they're doing that is because they don't really have a choice to not but to acknowledge that and the reason why is because right off right off the bat right at the very beginning uh, beginning of all this the police the Salem police and the coin six news and all the other local news media were heavily vilifying this woman in order to cover the cops ass and I mean heavily vilifying this woman. This woman was completely innocent. She doesn't have a criminal history. Uh, she doesn't have a criminal record. If they claim she does, that's just an outright bullshit lie. Backed up by liars. Um, everything they claim is not backed up by proof or evidence. They just spew bullshit. And uh, the nonstop spewing of bullshit by Coin6 News and by other local news media and by the Salem police themselves... It, the it, it was like it was as though a giant cult jumped up and decided, oh, one of our mem one of our cult members is in in, in uh, screwed up. He assassinated somebody, and it's, uh, it's too blatant that it's an assassination. So the whole giant cult leaped to this cult member's defense and started fabricating uh, news stories in regards to the murdered victim, trying to vilify the victim. And uh, they were even staging crimes using doubles so that they could make the murdered victim look like a bad guy. Now, because a, a lot of people were crying foul, uh, me being one of them, a lot of people were crying foul over this. Uh, and other people got to read these comments before uh, Coin6 News and the other local news media's websites. Uh, started blocking the the people that were complaining. Uh, 
a lot of people got to read these comments. So Coin Six News and uh, Salem Police, they're kind of they kind of went into cover their butt mode, and they're actually acknowledging uh, that uh, there was some misinformation. Now, ironically, they're not acknowledging the fact that gee, Coin Six News and the Salem Police are you blatantly using doubles to portray an innocent murdered victim as a bad guy. Notice how they're not pointing that out. But they are acknowledging misinformation. So that's, uh, and the only reason they're making that acknowledgement is because too many people became aware of the fact that, gee, uh, these cops assassinated this woman and obviously it was planned out. It most definitely was not a normal traffic stop since these officers had an attack dog in their vehicle. And they, uh, those officers obviously did something to cause this woman to flee in fear for her life. She was not armed at all. If she was armed, she wouldn't be fleeing in fear for her life. She would be shooting in self-defense if she was armed. Uh, she's fleeing for her life because she's not armed. And the police that pulled her over intentionally made it known to her. Her ass is in danger by them. And she ain't got real, much choice other than to flee. And that's exactly what the Salem police wanted her to do. Which is why the police had the attack dogs in their squad cars when they pulled her over. So it was intentional on the Salem, Salem Police Department's part to get this woman to flee from them. So that they could sick their dogs onto her. Now, I hope you noticed that on a news article, they're not pointing out the fact that Coin Six News is censoring people that post comments. They're not pointing out the fact that people that are crying foul are being censored and blocked. Uh, they don't point that out at all. Um, they are indeed using misinformation. Uh, what they're not telling you is it's blatant, deliberate, intentional misinformation on the part of the Salem Police and on the part of Coin6 News. The fact that Coin6 News and uh, other local news media websites, as well as the Salem Police, we're using doubles and photogenic photos in order to make this innocent victim look like a bad guy. Um, uh, that's, that's enough. That's more than enough. Uh, the local news media is allowing police and their whore-ass girlfriends to stage crimes and to dress up and impersonate their target and to act like a criminal so that they can use fuzzy photogenic photos to make their target look like a bad guy. Notice the bitch is grinning while she impersonates the murdered woman. It's amusing to cops and their whore-ass girlfriends when they act as doubles so that they can make their targets look like bad guys. They enjoy doing this shit to people. It's sport to law enforcement and their whore-ass girlfriends to impersonate the people that they target. This is nothing more than staged propaganda uh, made by police and by their fucking whore-ass girlfriends where they just have a, a look whore ass girlfriend of a cop that semi resembles their target and then they just have that person dress up and act like a criminal and then they take fuzzy photogenic photos of the double while the double wears sunglasses because the person's not an exact look alike of the target they just take a fuzzy photogenic photo and they slap sunglasses on a double and this is the tactics Coin6 News and every other local news website here in Oregon were using last year in 2014 uh, 
to portray this poor, innocent, murdered victim as a bad guy. She's not a bad guy. She's not a killer. There she is, right there. She's not a villain. She's not a bad guy. She's a good person. She's not a criminal. She's a good person. She's a target of a sting. The sting wanted her dead. She tried to find help. The sting pulled her over. The sting had attack dogs in their police cruisers, so they had they had every intention of causing her to flee on foot. They deliberately caused her to flee on foot. They made things enough things known to her on that stop to know that they're there to kill her. They wanted her to flee. They didn't give her a choice but to flee. And the moment she started to flee, that's when the grinning, smirking Salem police opened their squad cars and released uh, their police dogs to chase her down. After the police dogs viciously attacked her, the cops assassinated her with a headshot. And then the sting ops went into cover the cops butts mode. This is an innocent woman who's a victim of a murder conspiracy. Killed by people in law enforcement. This is news media and law enforcement and their whore ass girlfriends trying to cover those cops butts. By using a double to make that innocent woman look like a bad guy. Now I hope you notice it's law enforcement and their civilian operatives and news media that is trying to destroy an innocent woman's name and reputation after she was viciously attacked and viciously murdered and assassinated by the Salem police. And they will they are they will quite literally stage and commit any pretense for the purpose of making their target their victim look like a bad guy to other people. And the moment the moment people cry foul, the moment people complain, the moment people try to point this out to people, um, that's when Coin6 News and their very fascist minded mindsets that they have um, blatantly block and silence anybody and everybody that opposes the lies and the bullshit. Um, you try to point out the lies and the bullshit news media and law enforcement spews out to people. You try to, you call foul on them and you call out you call them out on the bullshit and uh, they don't address those comments at all. They delete those comments and they silence anybody and everybody that call them out on it. Uh, so anybody and everybody uh, that is a witness to the contrary and anybody and everybody that calls them out on their bullshit, they just get silenced. So ultimately, ultimately in the end, the only people uh, that are permitted to give comments and to make comments, um, I hope you notice there's 22 comments for this news story. There was actually a lot more comments, um, but they're uh, most of the majority of the comments, Coin was deleting. 
Um, I hope you can see some of the comments that they've made. Now I'm going to give you some examples of the comments. Here's what a sting operative is saying about this news story. They're saying, how dare a police officer use deadly force against an armed woman fleeing a traffic stop with two outstanding felony warrants for burglary and meth possession. I'm sure she was a nice person after all. The felonies and loaded gun definitely are something anyone can have. <laughs> okay. That's a sting off that typed that comment. Uh, every all every single allegation he's making against this innocent woman is fabricated and made up. Completely and totally fabricated and made up on this woman. Uh, this is how the police and uh, the news media and the civilian sting ops that post comments, this is how they're vilifying this woman. They're trying to portray her as a criminal. They're trying to portray her as a bad guy. She was a victim of a sting. She couldn't find help. When she tries to get away from these people to find help, they, they sick their uh, police dogs on her and then gunned her down and assassinated her. The woman was not armed. If she was armed, she would have used if she was armed, she would have used that gun on a dog in self-defense. They just simply lie and pretend that she's armed so that the cops appear justified. Now, it's only these type of people that leave comments like this that are vilifying the target. They're the only people permitted to leave a comment. So only people that will cover cops' butts are permitted uh, to post a comment. Nobody else is welcome. Now, I hope you notice right here, uh, this person right here, maybe it was a body double that led them on that chase and she was then released from the cage. They held her in and then shot her. Hey, Terry, is, is this as crazy as you think it is? Now, I hope you notice the sting ops are actually uh, taunting me personally. They're personally taunting me because I was the person pointing out the fact that in a news story, in one of the other news stories, that they were using a double to impersonate that woman. Now I'm just scrolling so that you can, uh, you can always pause as I scroll down so that you can read uh, the statements. I want to point this story out, this little comment right here. Most of us don't have families filled with meth-addicted multiple felons who use fake names and try to shoot cops. Now, I want to point out to you, what, who, who would type a statement like that? Only sting ops would type a statement like that. The only people that are permitted to leave a comment are sting ops. And what are the sting ops doing? They're taunting um, anybody and everybody that is complaining about what the cops did to this woman. Um, they, uh, police and sting ops vilify anybody and everybody they target. They label all their victims as meth addicts. And they label all their uh, victims that they target as criminals. Um, nobody shot at the cops. It's the cops that shot this innocent unarmed woman. But look how the sting ops will twist everything to make 
it look like cops are the victims, which is just bullshit, just outright bullshit. It, it's infuriating um, to normal people to even read these fucking comments because these sting ops are the only ones that have uh, any say or control over these comments, and all the sting ops do is vilify anybody and everybody that law enforcement has it out for and you're not welcome to point out the lies that police and uh, news media spew on people uh, anybody that attempts to point it out to people um, such as myself um, they cover up and block my comments but they allow the sting ops to continue to harass me and to point me out in uh, their comment section and to taunt me so my comments get deleted, but the sting ops themselves, they continue to attack and taunt me. Uh, they're not happy. Uh, they're not happy about the fact that um, they're, they're not happy about the fact that right here on this particular comment, this person right here, and I hope you notice he's not using his real name, uh, sting ops that post comments on news media never use their real names ever um, I hope you notice that he is taunting me um, in his comment and I hope you notice my comments are gone and the reason why is because coin six news deleted my comments and blocked me from posting Now you can pause it while I'm scrolling down. I'm just giving you the option. I, I just I hope you notice that my comments are not visible. And the reason why my comments are not visible is because Coin6 News um, deleted and uh, blocked uh, my comments. Ironically, if I logged in to Coin6 News, well then my comments would be visible. But the moment I'm logged out of Coin6 News, my comments are gone. And the only comments that are available is basically the Sting Ops comments. So the only comments that get to stay and remain and the only comments that everybody gets to see is the Sting Ops comments, the people that are pro-police, the people that are in the cover cops butt mode and vilify the living shit out of the target mode. Uh, they're the only type of people that are permitted to post comments um, in news stories uh, in regards to people that law enforcement murder. Um, this is a perfect example of how uh, organized police sting operations stalk and target people and they assassinate people and they'll fake any pretense in order to justify it this woman was stalked by police officers that had police dogs in their police cruisers that intentionally stalked this woman and they pulled that woman over and they deliberately made it known to her she doesn't have any choice but to flee because they're going to kill her so she flees in terror trying to find help and what did the police do they released their police dogs and sick their police dogs on this woman with full intent of killing this woman The police pulled this woman over while they had police dogs in their police cruiser and they deliberately caused the situation that forced this woman to flee them on foot. She was in her, literally in a situation where she had no choice but to flee these people. And that's exactly what the Salem police wanted her to do. And with grins and smirks on their faces, they sicked their dogs on her because they already had it planned out, which is why it is not a traffic stop. And then the police and just just rely on their civilian operatives to back up bullshit stories 
in order to make law enforcement appear justified, and then news media spews the bullshit. And then the only people that are permitted to post comments on a news story are the police supporters. Anybody and everybody that cries foul and calls out the police and news media on their bullshit, um, they get blocked and censored and they get taunted and ganged up on uh, by the civilian sting ops that are posting in the comment sections in the news websites. The fact that uh, the police and their whore-ass girlfriends will uh, dress up like the target and then act like a criminal while they grin and smirk about it and then the fucking police officer's girl the police officer's girlfriends will do this shit and it's the cops that just take fuzzy photogenic photos of their whore ass girlfriend impersonating the target and then that's the, this is this is the propaganda shit that they hand over to the coin 6 news website and to other news websites for the purpose of vilifying the target. Now there were people crying foul over this. Uh, I'm not the only person crying foul. I was the only person uh, pointing out the fact that they're blatantly using doubles to impersonate a murdered victim. Uh, I'm the only person that pointed that out. And only because of uh, this photo that they slapped up and they claimed that it was uh, Jacqueline Ford when it's not. Uh, it's blatantly a fucking cop's whore ass girlfriend or some cop's relative that semi resembles uh, Jacqueline Ford and a bitch is just dressing up like Trinity and then acting like a criminal for the cop's uh, fuzzy photogenic photo camera that they're using and then they just gee news media is more coin six news is more than happy to take this fuzzy fucking photogenic photo that doesn't have a near enough detail to identify who the fuck this person is and to use it to vilify an innocent murdered victim in order to cover a cop's ass now i hope you notice this bitch is grinning and smirking while she acts like a criminal at gunpoint i hope you notice that that's exactly the attitude sting ops have. It's sport for police and their whore ass girlfriends to stage and commit crimes while acting as a double so that they can make their targets look like a bad guy. It's sport to these people. And law enforcement and news media have been using these tactics for several decades. This is nothing new. Nothing new at all. Uh, news media simply never points it out to normal people and normal people generally don't pay enough attention to the news and generally don't critique the news or police enough to be aware of the bullshit that law enforcement and news media spews out to people um, in other words there is actually no watchdogs policing the news media and uh, there is nobody calling out on the bullshit tactics that they use Nobody. Outright nobody. Uh, if average citizens try to point this out to people and try and call them out on their bullshit, um, normal people that try to point this out, they get censored. They get blocked. Their comments get deleted. Um, so there's no... There's literally no way... For average citizens, now I hope you notice I'm pointing out the fact that they are indeed using doubles on uh, another news story in relation to this news story. I hope you notice that I'm pointing that out, and I hope you notice Coin6 News is blocking me. And I hope you noticed that on this scrolling screenshot I took that actually has comments, I hope you notice that uh, there are uh, troll-like sting ops that are able to post comments uh, that support law enforcement and basically vilify and attack anybody else that, that says the contrary. 
uh, I hope you noticed that uh, they are actually taunting me uh, directly in their comments. I have nothing really to do with this news story at all. I'm not even involved in this news story. I'm just somebody that happened to point out the bullshit um, that they were using doubles on another news story to impersonate Jacqueline Ford. I just happened to point that out. And uh, Coin6 News deleted my comment. And were and these sting ops that are permitted to post comments were taunting me. So basically, they enjoy the fact that they can silence me and then they'll just taunt me for having the audacity to point out the fact that Coin6 News and the Salem Police were using doubles to impersonate Jacqueline Ford. And uh, the, the same attitude that these people that are posting comments that are, are permitted to ha have their comments stay up, um, every one of these people are... Uh, pro su pro supporters of police and pro supporters of up uh, of what police did to this woman, and are taunting anybody and everybody that tries to defend this woman or to call call foul on the police. Um, so the news media is fascistly uh, silencing anybody and everybody uh, that is pointing out. Uh, the corruption and pointing out the blatant fascism and the blatant uh, criminal activity by the news media and by the Salem police themselves uh, in regards to vilifying this innocent woman that was viciously murdered and assassinated by the Salem police. Um, they're, they're not only silencing anybody and everybody that complains by simply blocking them from posting, but the sting ops that do not use their real names but post comments using uh, made up fictional names um, they're taunting they're taunting the people uh, that are complaining and uh, and enjoy they're flaunting the fact that anybody that complains their, their comments get uh, deleted you can see this person right here is acknowledging the fact that I'm pointing out the fact they were using a double on another uh, news article uh, to vilify the Jacqueline Ford. And uh, this person um, is this, per this sting op right here. He's a sting op. He's taunting me. He's literally taunting me after my comments were posted by me and then deleted uh, by Coin6 News. This person is taunting me. So his comment gets to remain. He's taunting me, and his comment gets to remain. Uh, my comments are all gone and deleted. <clears throat> so uh, Salem police viciously assassinated and murdered an innocent woman, and they planned it out. It was not a traffic stop. It was planned out, which is why they had the police dogs in their cruiser in the first place. And... Uh, the local news websites were deliberately spewing a ton of lies and misinformation about uh, Jacqueline Ford in order to cover uh, the Salem police's ass. And the only people that are actually permitted to post comments and have their comments remain are pro-supporters of police that support what the police did. And are doing the same thing that news media is doing. They're vilifying uh, Jacqueline Ford, trying to make her look like a bad guy. Now, this particular sting up is that in this particular comment right there is deliberately taunting me personally for having the audacity to point out the fact that the Salem police and Coin6 News was using doubles of photogenic photos to portray Jacqueline Ford as a bad guy. They were taunting me for pointing that out. My comments in regards to them using a body double to impersonate Jacqueline Ford was deleted from this news article. But the sting ops that are taunting me and trying to cover the Salem police butts and trying to cover Coin6 News's butts they're taunting me right there. There's my name. He's taunting me. He's he's uh, 
uh, he's ref he's actually trying to call, get my attention. He's trying to get my attention here. He's specifically referring to me. I used my real name in my comments because I back up every fucking thing I say with my real goddamn name. Now, the fact that, uh, the fact that, uh, me and, uh, other people were, uh, crying foul, were, uh, calling the Salem police and, uh, the local news media, uh, were being called out on their bullshit, and the bullshit that, uh, the Salem police and the local news media were spewing was substantial, a great deal of it. Um, in this particular news story, they're actually acknowledging there's a great deal of misinformation in regards to this news story. Uh, but they're not, they're not specifically describing in detail what is that in misinformation. I hope you noticed that. They're acknowledging inf misinformation is occurring, but they're not describing in detail what that misinformation is. Now, that should be enough for you to know uh, this, this news story caused a great deal of controversy here in Oregon. Uh, a lot more people than you could ever imagine were crying foul. Uh, at this point, uh, news media and the Salem police were doing a bit of backpedaling because they're sort of in cover their ass mode. Um, the amount of misinformation that the news media and the police spewed in regards to this blatant assassination committed by a cop on an innocent woman um, in order to cover a cop's ass... Um, was very substantial, and a lot of people were crying foul. A lot of people were complaining. Um, uh, the only reason they're uh, making special mention uh, to me in the comment section of this news article is because uh, I'm the only one that was pointing out the blatant use by Coin Six News of their use of a double to make Jack uh, to portray uh, Jacqueline Ford as a bad guy. Um, I'm the only one that pointed that out, and my comment immediately, within an hour after I made that comment, my comment was deleted. Now, the trolls, the sting ops, the trolls slash sting ops, the pro-police supporters of assassination that are trying to cover the cops' asses, uh, they were having fun taunting me and my comments, and uh, their taunting comments remained... Um, when, in their attacks towards me. Uh, however, all my comments were deleted by Coin6 News and I was blocked by uh, Coin6 News. So, while the Sting Ops just, that are uh, taunting me um, after I posted on here, uh, I'm denied the, the ability or the right to even um, post a response. To these commenters that are taunting me. So basically, uh, the Salem police and the Salem police and the local news media and the civilian sting ops that, for the most part, predominate and uh, run the comment sections of news websites. Um, they were essentially giving me the finger and telling me, fuck you. We don't give a shit if you know we're using doubles. We don't We don't give a shit if you know that we're vilifying an innocent woman to cover a cop's ass. We don't give a damn. We'll gang up on your ass the same way we're ganging up on Jacqueline Ford. We'll gang up on you. Uh, they're essentially flaunting it and taunting anybody that opposes it or tries to stand up to it. Um, <clears throat> they don't give a damn. Um, now, this is just one example 
um, of of how uh, news media and how police use doubles in order to frame and or to vilify uh, their targets. This is an innocent woman that was murdered by police officers that planned out the killing and they faked a traffic stop in order to commit the killing. Uh, it was a fake traffic stop on a part of the police because those police officers had attack dogs in their police cruiser and they deliberately made it known to her they're going to kill her and she flee she fled in self defense she tried to flee from these officers in self defense and there was nobody she could turn to and the grinning smirking officers that planned out this assassination that already had the attack dogs in their police cruisers grinned and smirked and they released their attack dogs on her after they caused her to flee in self defense Anybody and everybody has a right to flee if they believe their right is in danger. The mere act of fleeing in and of itself does not constitute a crime. If a person believes they are in danger, then they have a right to flee. So the mere act of this woman fleeing the Salem police um, does not constitute a crime at all those officers pulled her over with every intent of killing her and they wanted her to know it and they made it known to her to the point where she knew she has no choice but to flee in self-defense and the moment she tried to run away from these cops that obviously have it out for her those grinning smirking cops just opened their squad car doors and let out the police dogs and to run her to chase her down and right after the police dogs attacked her, that's when the cops assassinated her with a headshot. The woman never, this victim, this woman never fired a shot herself because she doesn't have a gun at all. And after the cops murdered this woman, they just tossed a gun down next to her. And then from that point forward, they just pretend she was armed. And they have all their civilian buddies, as well as their civilian buddies in the news media, backing up their bullshit while they grin and smirk. And when uh, people started crying foul and started complaining, well, that's when the news media uh, and the police and their whore-ass girlfriends um, started... Uh, that's when they started using their practice of using doubles and photogenic photos uh, so that they could portray uh, their murdered victim, Jacqueline Ford, as a bad guy. And I hope you notice they grin and smirk while they make their murdered victims look like bad guys. I hope you notice that. I really hope you notice that. Um, and news media being the fascist, brown-nosing relatives to law enforcement, of which they are, um, are permitting law enforcement and their whore-ass girlfriends to portray murdered victims uh, that are murdered by cops as bad guys. I hope you notice that. <laughs> the use of doubles and photogenic photos by police and by county sheriff officers and by their civilian relatives and girlfriends and by news media itself is common practice and has been a tactic that has been used commonly um, since the 1930s on a regular basis and news media just never points this practice out to people and most normal people that have busy lives, that have their own life issues to deal with, normally don't ha normally don't have the time to uh, police news media or uh, police the police, and uh, because law enforcement and news media uh, are basically bedfellows in the framing and vilifying of targets of law enforcement, um, they get away with this shit. They get away with it. And anybody and everybody that cries foul and anybody and everybody that calls them out on their bullshit uh, just gets fascistly silenced. 
by the government and by news media. And then the civilian sting ops gang up, literally gang up, on anybody and everybody uh, that complains or calls foul on them or calls them out on their bullshit. Um, they were trying to intimidate me. Of course, uh, their intimidation on me is a huge waste of time. Um, they're not going to intimidate me. Um, I'm sure their tactics would be very intimidating to most people. Um, it doesn't intimidate me because I, I'm so disgusted with law enforcement that uh, um, I could give fucking rat's ass. Um, but this is an excellent example uh, how uh, police and their civilian ops, they'll stage and commit a multitude of crimes and they'll fabricate any bullshit story in order to frame a target and to cover a cop's ass. And news media always goes along with this bullshit. Always. Uh, news, if you, th if you think of uh, law enforcement as a bunch of fascist KKK members, and if you think of uh, law enforcement's relatives and girlfriends as as well as KKK members and if you think of them as well th those are the type of people that make up your government and your news media well then you'll have a much better understanding of sting operations and the tactics they use because the entire if, if a one police officer commits a crime and assassinates somebody uh, the entire police department and all their whore ass girlfriends and all their relatives and all their buddies and relatives in the news media will do anything and everything they can to cover that cop's ass and they'll spew a ton of propaganda to vilify um, their innocent victims and they'll even have doubles to impersonate their innocent victims so that they can portray the innocent victims as bad guys and it's usually cops and their whore ass girlfriends that do this type of staging. Usually. Nine times out of ten, it's some fucking cops and his whore ass girlfriend that just resembles the target. Um, that does the posing and the staging so that they can make the target look like a bad guy. And then it's news media. It's the buddies and relatives of law enforcement in news media that pumps out this garbage, this propaganda. Um, to the American people so that they could try to make uh, law enforcement appear justified. Uh, this is a blatant use of uh, doubles and photogenic photos by law enforcement and by news media in order to frame and vilify an innocent person in order to cover a cop's ass. Uh, my name is Terry Wager. Uh, this is... Uh, this is the uh, end of this uh, vlog. Thank you very much for your attention in this regards.